this person is so absolutely unbelievably stupid that I had to make a second video of the same exact trick. I've already done one. This is before when I used to wear a mask and cover this beautiful mug that you see in front of you. And I didn't like the video. I thought the video could have been done better. I didn't like the lighting. I didn't like the way I looked. And here is essentially just some tips and tricks on how to avoid what I like to call retarded magic. Whenever I see a budding virgin perform a feat of prestidigitation that's actually legitimately dangerous, it gets me upset. It gets me aggravated. It gets under my skin. And here we have a magician that performed on a Vietnamese Got Talent show where he drinks acid. He drinks acid. Let's watch the video and break down the retardation bit by bit. <laughs> Mọi người biết thì axit rất là nguy hiểm đối với cơ thể con người chúng ta. Ok. Bây giờ em sẽ dùng cái len huy tướng chọn lúc nãy. Mà tôi bị sẽ chứng minh là sự nguy hiểm của axit như thế nào. Em ơi sang đây đường này. Tôi ấy nguy hiểm lắm. <cười> Rồi. Ở trong bình này là một miếng xốp. Bây giờ tôi bị sẽ đổ ly axit này vào miếng xốp. Như mọi người thấy thì khi muốn xót tác dụng của axit lập tức bị ăn mòn và tỏ ra mùi rất là hôi. The golden ratio of retardation begins very early, my friends. As a matter of fact, it's already begun. The magician here starts off his demonstration by showing a bottle of acid and pouring it on a sponge to show its corrosive properties. And here, even when he pours the acid on the sponge, you see that it just has a minor reaction. Obviously, he's proving the fact that it's dangerous. He puts on one glove like he's Michael Jackson, but I guess with thalidomide poisoning. And he pours it on the sponge, and it's not really as extravagant of a demonstration especially compared to something like the classic Russian roulette where you have a bunch of spikes underneath. It could be cups or paper bags and you see the spikes and you could prove it by throwing an apple on it to show how sharp it is. And then you have that element of danger, perceived danger when you're slapping your hands on each one. So it plays big. Whereas this, it's such a minor effect. You have these little tiny shot glasses and he's pouring the acid on a sponge and you really have to take his word for it. Now, yes, you do see the corrosion here, but it's still such a minor Minor effect. It's such a little minor fizzle that it's not worth the legitimate element of danger that he's going to put himself in. And retardedly, he does the worst thing of all. He says that it has a bad smell. So to any audience member with even a single digit IQ, you are essentially giving them a method on a silver platter that all you have to do is just find the one that smells bad. Tôi xin được phép nhắc lại, đây là tiết mục nguy hiểm. Mọi người không nên thử ở nhà. Được không ạ? Rồi, bây giờ tôi sẽ đổ acid. Còn lại và chiếc lên phi đứng nó chọn. Ok. Rồi. Bây giờ thì ta bị sẽ lòng cái ống giấy này vào chiếc ly anh phi đứng nó chọn. Và tại sao chúng ta lại có những cái ống giấy này? Vì thế để cho chắc á even if you decide to retardedly use legitimate acid for this effect, you have such an ample opportunity to switch the actual vial that contains acid. You are pouring it on a fucking sponge. You are showing the corrosion. Why not take advantage of that ooh-ah moment that you're trying to manufacture and switch the container that contains acid? And therefore, you'll be pouring something like water into it. Instead, you're out here guiding them through the scenic route of the science experiment, and the judge looked like he was in an IRS audit. I'm going to say this about a hundred times in this video. Never do a legitimately dangerous trick. Never do a legitimately dangerous trick. Only do tricks that have perceived danger, the illusion of danger, but never have any trick that could legitimately go wrong, especially a trick that could go wrong so easily. Luckily for you, I have a compendium of tricks on the Pig Cake Magic Academy with over 1,500 videos going over card stuff, coin stuff, everything you need to become the best magician you could possibly be, all for the low, low price of the equivalent of a single White Claw a month, which is $5. $5 and you get access to 1,500 videos and I'm always uploading new content every single week and none of it's dangerous. Everything's practical and reasonable and it won't get you killed. Okay. Anh Huy Tấn. Anh đã sẵn sàng chưa? Yeah. 
Okay. My goodness, every time I see this video and I see whoever that judge is, I just fall further in love with her. What a perfect looking woman. However, speaking of the audience, nobody cares. The judges don't care. This person is putting himself in legitimate danger and the judge doesn't even know what's going on. But guess what? We already know how this video ends. Homeboy ends up taking a shot of Lord knows what for absolutely nothing. And say bước lên đây. À. Và trong lúc đó, em xin nhờ anh Huy Tấn hãy cháo vị trí ly axit này trộn lẫn với bốn ly nước. Ok. Và đặc biệt là anh hãy nhớ vị trí ấy nằm đâu, được không ạ? Anh hãy cháo chậm rãi và từ từ thôi. Ok. Ok. Rồi. Bây giờ để tôi chắc chỉ có một mình anh Huy Tấn biết vị trí ly axit nằm đâu. Tại vì sẽ che lại. Rồi anh hãy cháo đi ạ. Anh hãy cháo chậm thôi rồi. Như mọi người thấy thì anh Huy Tấn đang cháo vị trí ly axit trộn lẫn với bốn ly nước. Và tiết mục uống axit ngày hôm nay được bắt nguồn từ trò chơi tên là Russian Roulette, còn gọi là cò quay Nga. Đã có rất là nhiều người tham gia trò chơi này và có kết cục không tốt đẹp. Đó là ảnh hưởng đến tính mạng. Vì thế ta bị xin nhắc rằng Only Jesus of Nazareth and himself know what absolute retarded method he used. But as you can see, when the judge shuffles up the glasses, he actually never mixes the one with acid. And I assume that his method requires for the glasses to actually be legitimately mixed and shuffled because the one with the acid never leaves its place. It's always the one on the far end, in this case, to the far left, which is my favorite part of the political spectrum to make fun of. That has the further implication of having a method that is completely dependent on an audience member that doesn't give a fraction of a fuck and has a huge element of risk. You can see here that he picks up the one with acid and places it back down and then goes on to mix the other ones, never actually legitimately shuffling that one with acid. Of which I have to remind you that it's real fucking acid. Anh Huy Tấn cháu xem chưa? Chào anh có muốn thay đổi không? Không. Ok, đó là con số anh nghĩ trong đầu. Việc đói không được nói ra. Ok. Một lát thôi, em sẽ mời anh ngồi vào chiếc ghế kia và em sẽ ngồi vào đây. Và anh hãy nhớ rằng khi em bắt đầu biểu diễn, cho dù có chuyện gì xảy ra nữa, anh cũng không được phép rời khỏi chiếc ghế. Ui rồi, sao khó thế? <cười> được không ạ? Đây. Anh yên tâm đi, tại vì uh, trước khi tham gia chương trình này thì em đã ký chiếc một bản cam kết ừ. là sẽ chịu. Nhưng mà anh thì chưa ký. Không sao, em ký là được rồi ạ. <cười> Ok, bây giờ xin mời anh ngồi chiếc ghế kia. Lần sau có gì khó khó gọi anh Hoài Linh nhá. Anh đã có thể cải bao tay được rồi ạ. Bây giờ em có một yêu cầu cho anh. Anh hãy đếm từ 1 đến 5. Và trong khi đếm anh hãy nghĩ đến liên axit vị trí nằm đâu. Okay. Anh hãy đếm thật chậm, đếm to và đếm rõ. Được không ạ? Ok. Bắt đầu đếm. Anh bắt đầu đi ạ. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bây giờ, ta bị sẽ cố gắng lựa chọn sự an toàn, đó là uống những ly nước. Và tránh khỏi cái chết, đó là ly acid. Ta bị cảm thấy, cái số 5, an toàn. Now, at the very least, there's some attempt at trying to introduce this element of danger and making it really seem like it's dependent on his ability to read this particular judge's mind and see which one of the glasses has acid based on maybe his reactions, maybe on his inflection, you know, the classic Darren Brown bit. There is an attempt here to create a magical effect. The magical effect being that he's going to try to figure out one of these glasses and he's going to drink the ones that are safe and leave the acid one behind. However, I remind you, never perform a trick that's legitimately dangerous. It's stupid. It's a waste of time. Whatever perceived fame or glory or money you're going to think that you're getting after this is not worth it because it might not happen the first time. It might not happen the second time. But with repetition comes less care than you had the first time you did it because you're building confidence. The only confidence you should have for a trick like this is that it's going to work the exact same way 100% of the time because you know that you've prevented any element of legitimate danger. Lý số 1. An toàn.
What a legitimate and absolute fucking retard. There is no reason why this should be something that's right now permeating in my retina. There's no reason why this should be a video that exists online. It doesn't make sense, especially with the confidence that he has. This is only the second glass that he's ingesting, mind you, using whatever retarded methodology he happens to be using. And it's already done. The entire effect is over. There's no reason for him to carry on. And yet there is still two minutes left in this video. The remaining part of the video is an exercise in cringe management. You can't watch it without cringing. My butthole right now is puckered. There's no purpose in continuing past this point. You're already failed. This isn't even about the show must go on. The show is done. You might get better publicity at this point if you just admit the failing, say that you messed up, and go get help that you desperately need because you ingested whatever legitimate poison you volunteered to deep throw down your stupid mouth. Đi số 3, anh quậy. Rồi bây gặp thấy. Đi số 2, anh quậy. You don't say. You don't say that the first one is the one with poison. As I said earlier, he had ample opportunity to switch the actual vial with legitimate acid, which by the way, you should never use regardless. But let's say you do choose to use legitimate acid because you wanted to impress your ancestors that maybe collectively had an IQ of fucking seven. He had ample opportunity to switch that. And at the end, nobody's really paying attention. The assumption is that the last glass is the one with poison. You could pour it on that sponge. Maybe that sponge had already some acid on it. Nobody could fucking see legitimately anyways. And you have an effect that's safe. Well, safer than this pile of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> the barometer of a good effect performed to an audience is whether or not somebody asks you, hey man, are you done? Is that it? Is that the whole thing? Because they're confused. They don't know what's fucking going on. You just drank acid. You drank the rest of the cups. You fucking said that the last one has acid. That's not a trick. What you did was essentially a demonstration in acute retardation. I tell you again, do not do legitimately dangerous magic. I had to share with you that last part because that really tops off this golden ratio of retardation, this cherry cake of cringe. There are so many of these Russian roulette style tricks that are legitimately dangerous and should never be performed by anyone, especially something like this that has so little reward. You have to start the demonstration with a science experiment. So everybody's already thinking back of school and not paying attention and dozing off. And then you have to somehow go through this process and the procedure just takes way too long. And then ultimately the payoff is nothing. The payoff is you pouring a cum shot of this acid on a sponge, having it corrode, and getting absolutely no reaction. This is a master class in what not to do and how to structure a trick that you're going to perform on national television. It needs to be something that hits 100% of the time. It needs to be something that there's no element of danger, of risk whatsoever, and it's not going to be something that's going to be made fun of by short Arab men on YouTube. I'll see you again when I see you. Yeah. <laughs>